Hi everyone, Nicole Russo coming to you for the DRF Breeding Report. And of course, this week we'll look at Belmont Stakes winner, Sir Winston. He is the second American Classic winner for Awesome Again, who continues to be a productive sire at age 25. The Adina Springs homebred, also the sire of 2013 Preakness winner and Belmont runner-up Oxbow, with solid classic performances from 2012 Belmont runner-up Painter and 2018 Preakness runner-up Bravazo besides. Now, all of these performances in the Triple Crown series continue to underscore the stamina Awesome Again displayed during his own racing career with victories in events such as the Queen's Plate and the Breeders' Cup Classic over one of the best fields in the race's history, and in his career as a stallion, passing that stamina on to his progeny. With the exception of two of his offspring, who earned top-level wins at seven furlongs and a mile, respectively, all of his grade one winning progeny have earned those victories at a mile and a 16th or longer. His top runner was fellow Adina homebred Ghost Sapper, the 2004 Horse of the Year, both brilliant and with the ability to carry that a distance, winning at distances from six furlongs to the mile and a quarter of the Breeders' Cup Classic. Now standing alongside Awesome Again at Adina Springs, Ghost Sapper has carried on the family -like legacy of imparting stamina, as well as speed and versatility. Now, his talents were also on display on Belmont Stakes Day with this filly, Guana, Garana, I'm sorry, who won the Acorn Stakes at the one-turn mile in just her second career start, besting Kentucky Oaks winner Serengeti Empress in stakes record time. Ghost Sapper also developing into a standout broodmare sire as well, with runners out of his daughters, including Triple Crown winner Justify. So Awesome Again and his son Ghost Sapper, both so prominent at stud in Kentucky, both having a great Belmont Stakes card on Saturday. We're going to start eyeing yearling sale season here in North America, beginning in just a few weeks in Lexington. Ghost Sapper coming off a season in which he had a seven-figure filly. Awesome Again, as I mentioned, age 25. I think supply and demand going to start coming into play with him, especially with the continued success. These are just two storylines we'll be keeping an eye on and profiling the prospects for, and you'll be able to find all that coverage at DRF Breeding and right here on DRF TV.